Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels, where we tell you the good, the bad, and the points of interest of your favorite cities. We do town tours, highway drives, and lists just like this one. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a future upload. Here's our list of the top 10 reasons you should not move to Toledo, Ohio. Number 10. Bad Drivers Do you enjoy traffic that's filled with people who don't use their signals, talk on their cell phone, stop abruptly, go under the speed limit, or just so fast that it seems like you are standing still? You will love Toledo. One of the biggest complaints from residents here is that people just don't know how to drive. Or maybe they do and they just don't care or put those driver's ed classes to use. Driving around the city will take a lot of caution because no matter how careful you are, you can't control how others will drive. This gets compounded by things like rain, sleet, ice, and snow. It's bad enough on dry roads. If it's wintry, you better just stay home. Number nine, limited transit. Public transit exists in Toledo, but it's very limited and doesn't cover the entire city. The public buses there do a good job getting you around, but if you want to be able to experience all there is to offer, you'll need a car. It's not a walkable city. The public transit options should be expanded, but it seems like the officials who make the decisions aren't interested in doing that. If you have to rely on the city bus, make sure you leave extra early to get where you need to go, especially when the weather is less than pleasant. Number eight, income. People like to make a lot of money when they go and do a job. The problem is that there's not a lot of ballin' people in Toledo. Even if they're working and have what most people would consider a decent job, if you think that 23,000 per year is okay, then you won't see a problem with the income levels here. They are 32% lower than the national average and males earn 41% higher than females. How the heck is that fair? Residents who are lucky enough to have a job here should be happy to work at all. The unemployment rate is 60% higher than the national average and the poverty level is 82% higher than the national average. What I'm trying to tell you is that when it comes to negative things concerning income and poverty, Toledo's well above the rest of the country and this is something really important you should keep in mind. Number seven, abandoned houses. Toledo's the kind of city where you can buy a house for 10,000, but there's a reason. Of course, anyone would know that a house at that price is going to at the very least need a lot of work. One would also be correct to assume that it'll be in a very bad part of town. There are a lot of bad parts of town in Toledo. These cheap houses are surrounded by trap houses, condemned houses, burnt down houses, demolished houses, falling down houses. There are tons of abandoned houses there. These houses haven't been paid on, taxes neglected, and there's no bringing them back. They're too far gone to repair and all they do is slowly sink into the ground and bring down neighborhood values. They bring crime into these neighborhoods as well and make it an even more dangerous place to live. Number six, the crime. As I just mentioned, one of the worst things about Toledo is that it is a very crime ridden and violent place. Definitely in the top three in the state of Ohio. The violent crime rate is 159% higher than the national average. That means there's a really good chance of getting the business. Actually, about a 1 in 26 chance. This is citywide, although neighborhoods like Onyx and Birmingham are amongst the top places to avoid. Chances are, if you're in those type of places, you'll be in danger. Let alone live in them, then you are subjected to things like burglaries and being stationary in a war zone. If you're considering visiting or moving, you should make it a point to look at heat maps. They tell the truth and show you the areas to avoid. Number five, the weather. The weather in Toledo is not ideal. 
It experiences all the disadvantages of being a northern city when it comes to wintry precipitation with no real benefits. During the winter months, you can expect snow, a good amount of it too, and cold temperatures, as low as 19 degrees and maybe even single digits. You'll definitely need a sweater and some mittens. If you're looking for a warm spot, you need to go further south. During the summer months, the average is in the low 80s and is rarely in the 90s, unless there's a massive heat wave. The snowfall average is 31 inches per year, which is pretty much on par with the rest of the country. In 1978, there was a blizzard with about 15 inches of snow. Residents there are still trying to get past that. Number 4. Midwest WTF I guess this one is a more personal thing, but I never understood why people consider states like Ohio and Indiana to be Midwest, especially Ohio. It's basically part of the New England region. Whenever I hear anyone say that Ohio is Midwest or associate Ohio with being the Midwest, I cringe inside. If you look at a map of the United States, Ohio is clearly on the eastern edge of the country. So why are we even calling it anything to do with the West? It doesn't make sense. Number three, illegal substances. Do you enjoy things that alter your mind and make you take a break from life's problems and struggles? In Toledo, you can find just about anything that tickles your fancy. M-E-T-H is a fan favorite, as there is a big problem with it especially. Of course, all of the others are here too, if that's not your thing. It is really easy to be found and can create a lot of problems, including increased crime like theft and assaults. Just being in the wrong place at the wrong time could appear as if you're looking for something. It's also inside schools, which isn't good for kids because they shouldn't be doing anything like that anyway. Number two, schools. Speaking of kids and schools, if getting into a fancy college because of the great high-end education you're receiving is the end goal in life, Toledo isn't it. You'll be lucky to gain enough knowledge to get the basics down. Out of all of the 120 public schools in the city, they all rank 21% lower than the rest of the country. Only 80% of the residents will graduate from high school. It's easier to live and lead a life on the streets slinging rather than getting a diploma and a degree. Only 18% of residents have a bachelor's degree. Not like that'll do much for you there because the job market is so bad and even jobs that require a bachelor's pay so low. Consider private schools so your kids can actually learn something. Number one, people are leaving. Over the last five years, the city of Toledo has experienced a steady decline in its population. Still today, there are over 276,000 people, but compare that to 287,000 from back in 2010, and you can see that people are coming to their senses. A lot of people are moving away due to the city government, employment opportunities, schools, and crime issues primarily. This keeps the cost of living cheap in terms of home ownership and rentals, but everything comes with a price. Residents are selling and leaving for cities with more opportunities that offer better jobs and better pay. There are many other places to live aside from Toledo, and unless you have a really specific reason for going there, like an amazing job or a dying family member, explore your options for making life-changing decisions. Alright everyone, that'll do for today's video. Do you live in or love Toledo? Maybe you hate it. While you're still here, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. That makes us really happy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all.